Hey everybody, welcome back. Today we're going to talk about a very important component if you're going to decide to build your own solar power backup system. I think for a prepper, something like this is really, really handy. It's not just all about power stations. Having some decent power at home that you can kick on and run is very important. Today we're taking a look at this Bouge RV LI 30 amp PWM solar charge controller and I'm going to tell you why I think it's a good one for you folks just getting started in solar. All right, folks, welcome back. So I got you zoomed in on this thing here. I want to show it to you really quick. It is connected to a battery currently. Um, the battery is just for demo use. I want to show you how it works. But really quick, I want to explain to you why I have power stations, but I also have a home backup solar system that I've built. I like the power stations for portability, for bugging out, for camping, whatever, uh, practicing out in the forest. You got yourself power backup. But... When it comes to a big power outage, you may need a lot more power than something a power station can give you. And as you've seen with me upgrading my, uh, my home solar stuff to uh, lithium iron phosphate batteries, uh, it, it definitely helps out. Now, about a week and a half ago, I lost power out here in the garage. Uh, it was a bad breaker on my GFI outlet, so they came, they fixed the breaker, no big deal. Um, I've switched out breakers before, but I really didn't think it was the breaker. It reset fine and everything, but they tested it and it was bad. So, anyway, um, I used my home backup system to run all of the lights for this whole operation out here. I couldn't just go dark and I couldn't just say, sorry guys, no power, especially as a prepper channel. That wouldn't look too good. So that's why I have my backup power system for home. They can run your freezers, your fridges. They can run bigger stuff for a longer period of time. You can also put bigger panels on them. Um, in my case, I have, a 200, I have 200 watts of power going into one and another 100 going into the other. They're not huge, and they're not going to charge overnight because I could probably use some more panels up there. But at least there's something a little bit bigger than a smaller power station. So that's why it's important for you folks to start thinking about, um, I've got my power station, but maybe I want to start thinking about building my own solar backup system. You can also make it a whole lot more cost-efficient if you know what you're doing. Now, something like this, this little item here, it's basically the brain of your solar backup system. You're going to have your solar panels coming in through here, on this side, and this is going to be your connection to your battery, which you see we've already done. Now, not, none of this is going to be a permanent installation today. I'm simply using this battery to demo this. This isn't a permanent setup. Uh, I'm not going to be putting fuses in it. We're just going to be running this and showing you what it's like. So don't get nervous if you see something that doesn't look perfect on it. Really, I'm just doing this to demo this charge control. So what's a charge controller? Well, they're designed for two basic things in a solar power system. Stopping power from the battery through the solar panel when there's no sunlight. In other words, not letting power escape from the battery through the solar panels when it's dark. And not only optimizing, but keeping your battery from being overcharged. So when it reaches a certain voltage, this shuts off. It won't go to the battery anymore. It tells the battery, it tells the solar panels that's enough and it shuts it off. Actually what it does, you can diverts the power too. On some of these they have a load and as you can tell here, if you want, you can plug in a USB right there and run it directly off the solar. All right, when there's when there's solar panel connected, right now there isn't one. We are going to connect one and demo it for you. And I'll back out a little bit to let you see everything. I want to tell you a little bit about this. Now this is a 12 or 24 volt charge control. It's kind of handy for newbies because it kind of takes care of a lot of the issues that you would normally have to do with a more expensive charge controller. Um, this is an intelligent regulator. It'll break, it's compatible with all types of batteries. Um, this is a lithium, lithium iron phosphate behind here. You can use this with gel cells, car batteries, everything. You name it, flooded lead acid. You do have to set it. I will get into the settings in a second. But it's very, very easy to set up and read. It has a nice big display. It's a 30 amp solar panel regulator, so it will cycle the current between the battery voltage and the main interface every three seconds, as you see it's doing here. It's telling me it's 13.2 volts and no amps coming in from the panel because there's no panel connected. It also has color-coded icons so you can see um, what's going on when you're setting it up. It's very, very handy when you're setting it up, trust me. Um, you know, some of these with, with more advanced charge controllers, you have to go in there and actually set and know the menu settings and all that. With this, there's a few short little menus, very easy to set up. You'll go in there and you'll change what type of battery you're using and it will take care of all the rest. All the settings are already in the controller. So you don't need to know it's cutoff voltage, it's peak voltage, it's float voltage, you don't need to know any of that. 
you just pick the type of battery you're using and boom you're there and you're good it is compatible with traditional batteries so I don't want you folks to think you have to use expensive expensive batteries or lipo fours or was it uh, tertiary lithium batteries LTOs you haven't seen those lithium titanium oxide we haven't done those yet but it's basically good for any type of battery, okay? So the cool part is, if you want to get started and you don't want to spend, you know, $400 or $600 or whatever for one of the lithium iron phosphates, you can go to Walmart, spend 100 bucks on a deep cycle battery, you know, a flooded lead acid battery, and use this. When money's better later, you can go out, buy one of these, and still use it. That's the cool part. You don't have to do that. You don't have to upgrade every time. It is compatible, like we said, with 12 or 24 volt batteries, okay? The max PV input voltage is 55 volts. Most controllers only go up to about 50, most controllers of this size. So this will give you a few extra volts, has 450 watts input. So that's 450 watts on a 12 volt system. That's 450 watts of panels you can do on this on a 12 volt system. That's pretty darn good for an inexpensive charge controller. It can do up to 900 watts on a 24 volt system. Okay, so it's a little bit higher than um, other systems that I've tried before, other uh, charge controllers. And it's definitely a whole lot better than the ones you get off Wish or, you know, some of the other ones you've, I've seen on Amazon. So, it does come with some nice hardware. This I really like, okay. If you've ever used these types of terminals, you unscrew them and you put your batteries in, you put your cables in, you screw them down tight, you know that they can be a little bit annoying sometimes. Um, this came with actual terminals. So what you do with these, let me let the camera focus, is you'll put your, your wire in there, crimp it, and you just slide these little thin terminals in there and screw it down. Real simple and easy. Makes life a whole lot easier than trying to cram your, your um, stuff in there, your wire. Um, I do have the wires just put in there, and that's what we're doing for today. Again, this isn't a permanent setup. I'm not quite sure what I'm doing with this charge controller yet, so it's not a permanent setup. So, what I want to do is walk you through the menus really, really quick. I'm going to go over here. This is your type of battery right there, you see? I've got it on. I don't know if you can see the little icon. It's kind of hard to see. Okay. We're going to move through the next menus. It's a 12-volt system. 14.6 volts is your cutoff. This is the temperature inside the house right now, inside here. This is how many PV volts are coming in. None, of course, because we don't have a panel connected. And these are the last of your settings right there, and you're all set. So, what we're going to do, that's the menu. That's how simple it is. It's very, very easy to do. And I gotta give them props. They have a very, very good manual here. Um, you know, it's not confusing at all. Basically, it'll tell you how to operate this whole thing. If you want, you can pause it there and take a look through the keys and the types of batteries. I actually had it open to that page because I was trying to get into that. Your system setting interfaces. Okay. Very, very simple to use. I'm sorry I'm kind of zoomed in here. Let me zoom out a little bit so you can see what's going on here. I always go the wrong way. There we go. So you can kind of see what's going on here. So, and this is your error code. That last menu on there was your error code. I forgot what it was. But anyway, they have all sorts of specifications on here. Um, all sorts of information. Your sizes. Really, really nice. And it is a very compact controller, too. That's one of the things I like about it. You got 4.7 inches that way, 4.41 inches that way, and about 3.2 inches thick. It does have a nice heat sink on the back. It does have holes to mount into your wall very, very simply, or your board, or however you're going to set it up. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to use the Bojar B 200 watt panel, okay? You remember that was that big rolled up panel that we had, and we tested a few weeks ago. I'm going to run it into here, and we're going to see this in operation and try it out. All right, so I want to show you the 200 watt foldable panel from Bojarby. I will put a link down below if you're interested in that. Um, that is really a performer uh, that really puts out some nice power. In the video that I did on it, unfortunately, I didn't have it set up in a perfect position, um, so it wasn't pulling in a ton of power, but uh, it's still pulling in a lot. Uh, but in this case, I put some uh, cardboard boxes behind it, of which I have a plethora of, being a reviewer, and uh, I just have it plopped out there in the morning sun facing uh, the way the sun is coming up we're going to move down here to the battery this is how I have it set up down here all right you're going to have a hard time seeing this this little guy here so what I'm going to do is hit it get through the menus and we'll do it this way all right so let's get out of there so 13.8 volts on the battery already 7.8 amps coming in from the panel and there you go, and it's in working mode. And you see this little icon, this little sun icon next to the panel that turned on and opened up. So that's already gone up, way up from what it was. I want to take you through this and show you. 
That's how many bolts we're getting off the uh, panel right now, 14.6. And that's the temperature. And that's the cutout. And there you go. So, it is performing perfectly. It's already got the battery up to 14, uh, 14 volts. That's pretty darn good. And that's pretty darn good. I can't complain. So there you go. That's the setup. Very, very simple. Again, you know, I'd put fuses and stuff in this if it was a permanent setup. For now, this is just to demo it really quick. And you see my wires go right out there. And I gotta say, I'm really impressed with this uh, with this panel and with this charge control. I think it's awesome for somebody just getting started. You know, just starting out with solar. This is an excellent way for you to uh, get started with a charge control because it can be really confusing in the beginning. I know when I, you know, back when I started doing solar, there was no YouTube. There were no video demos of anything. You just had to look it up and judge by pictures, and you'd have to blow up the pictures and say, is that the right thing? I don't know. Is that the right size? <laughs> so it is really handy, and the menu system on this is so incredibly simple, so simple to use. And I like the fact that they do give you the clips. I didn't use the clips for this, you know, the, uh, the, the uh, terminals. I didn't use the terminals for this installation again because I'm not sure what I'm doing with this just yet. But as you can tell, this thing is pretty cool. And they do have a discount for you on this, too. I got like a 5% discount if you use my code. Uh, the link will go to Amazon. And if you use my code at checkout, and I forget what the code is because I'm not looking at it. I'm sorry. <laughs> but it will be down in the description below. If you use my code at checkout, you will be able to get a, a little 5% discount on it. So definitely an impressive little system. You got your panels out there working away. And look how easy this could be set up in an SHTF or disaster situation. I can come out here, connect that, connect this, and I can get myself on the air with a radio. Maybe I can plug in and inver connect an inverter, and I can have some uh, a uh, DC AC power. You know, so this is really, really cool to be able to do this and generate your own electricity. So, I'm going to get back on the table, take it back up there, and I'm going to finish up the video and tell you what this is all about. Now, another nice, nice thing this does, too, is dim the power light, the lights on this. I don't know if you can see that. It looks bright there, but let me hit the thing. See how much brighter it gets? Let me go through the menu again. All you have to do is hit the other button not to go through the menu. If I hit this one, it would have done it. But it will automatically dim. That is really, really nice. I like that. Um, so you're not killing your battery overnight when there's nothing going on. Um, just be powering the screen. Anyway, let's get it back up on the table, and we'll finish up the video. All right, so I took everything off just for you to see the size of the unit. It's not exceptionally heavy or anything. Um, the stuff shaking around in there are these terminals. I hadn't didn't tighten them back down. Um, you do have a nice USB output here. So while your panel is connected and it's connected to a battery, you can get direct power off the sun there and get some uh, free recharges on your cell phones or devices. I think that's kind of cool. Like I said, I haven't really come up with anything for this yet. I'm trying to decide if I want to change out. I have a big power box that I made in the other uh, in my storeroom. Uh, you guys probably saw it with the two gel cell batteries, and it was for my HF radio. I'm trying to decide if I want to upgrade that and put that lithium iron phosphate battery in it that we were messing around with on the table here. Um, I think I probably want to do that at some point in time. So look for that coming up, but I haven't really figured out a job for this guy yet. So we will definitely be finding something for him to uh, him to power up. <laughs> but I really like the unit so far. It's been really good. I did admittedly test it way before the video. I played around with it when I got it. And uh, I like the menus. The menus are very simple, easy to operate. If you have any questions, the manual does a great job addressing them. Really, really easy. Well-written manual. Gotta say, you know, most of the Bujarbi stuff I've gotten has been very, very easy to use. It has not been anything, you know, poorly written manuals or problems with their products. Very, very simple. Love the terminals. Box will look like this when you get it. That'll be it. Pretty much, uh, pretty much everything there. It is a PWM um, charge control. Some people will say an MPPT is better, and yeah, it is better. But for building your first system, and for thirty six ninety nine with five percent off with my code, not bad. Really not bad. Uh, I didn't upgrade to MPP charge controllers till I want to say two years ago. Yeah, about two years ago. Um, basically, I was using, you know, PWM charge controllers, and I was perfectly happy with them. They did their job, you know. There wasn't anything fancy. They did their job. Anyway, folks, thank you for watching. The link will be down below. My discount code will be below that, too, as well. The discount code, because I couldn't remember it before, and it's 5 off Iridium, all one word, all capitals. I will put it down below, so you just cut and paste it when you go to YouTube, uh, when you go to Amazon to purchase this product. When you get to the checkout, it'll say enter a discount code. Enter that in there, 5 off Iridium, and it starts... 826, okay, 
at 7 a.m. It will end at 9-5-2022 at midnight. So make sure you get in there and get this before then because this isn't a permanent code. If you're watching this video two years from now, that code isn't any good. So make sure if you want one of these and you've been thinking about getting started, you see how easy I put it together. It took me all of five minutes to just wire up some stuff and stick a panel outside and boom, I was charging a battery. So if you're thinking about it, definitely time to do it is now before things get weird in the world. Um, let's face it, most of our electronics come from China. We're in a very unstable situation currently. So you might want to get anything that you need ahead of time. Anyway, folks, thank you for watching. Like I said, the links will be down below. Our other links are our Amazon affiliate store. This will also be in there as well. Everything I do in the channel that is on Amazon, I will put in there. I'll tell you if it's cheaper somewhere else, but I'll stick it in Amazon so you can check the specs out on it. Below that is our freeze-dried wholesalers. Okay, guys, coming up soon, we have our drawing. Make sure you go back a few videos and check out the video for the $1,000 giveaway of freeze-dried wholesaler food. It's a total of $1,000 in prizes for that giveaway. First prize is $500 worth of free freeze-dried food, so definitely check it out. And we're going to do the drawing September 2nd. Uh, I'm going to do it out here on a computer. We're going to use um, the random comment picker, so you just got to leave a comment on that video. Below that are my Patriot Supply. We got $250 off this month on a three-month kit. That is really, really good. And the site for that is preparewithiridium.com, preparewithiridium.com, and our Thrive Life freeze-dried food store. Thank you to all you new consultants and new delivery customers this month. I'm glad to see people getting stocked up on good quality food. Anyway, folks, thank you for watching. Stay safe and stay prepared.